Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 28th, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update, looking at some light showers from Columbus over toward Unadilla and Viana. Perry, a few light showers in the Bullock County as well. So that's part of a very thin cloud deck that we have moving across the, uh, really, the middle of the state, parts of South Georgia in there, starting out with some of that cloud cover. But just very, very light precipitation. That's going to hang on as we continue through the morning hours, mainly in South Georgia. Enough instability. And how about these temperatures? That's also helping a few of those showers pop up. We have low 70s as we get started this morning. How about that? 72 Vidalia and Waycross, 73 in Brunswick, 72 in Albany, and then cooler air up in North Georgia. So a little frontal system that's passing through. And again, that's going to provide a little bit of lift as well uh, to help bring up a few uh, showers. Thunderstorm risk pretty low today, but just be on the lookout for a few showers anywhere in the state of Georgia and really for different reasons today. We'll take a look at the modeling and show you a little bit more about that coming up. Here's our severe weather outlook for tomorrow. Level 1 out of 5 risk of severe weather for Carrollton, Rome, northwest Georgia, west metro Atlanta, mainly west of 285. And then we have the general thunderstorm risk for all of north Georgia and all of middle Georgia as well. And then things get a little bit more active as we head into Thursday. So let's uh, take a look at our Thursday map here, and you can see the level 2 out of 5 risk of severe weather now um, rolling into Rome, and then the level 1 out of 5 risk just east of that uh, around uh, Bartow County, Cherokee County, and Metro Atlanta, North Georgia, still in that general thunderstorm risk. So we're looking at some very uh, good possibility of some strong to severe thunderstorms as we roll through tomorrow and then as we head into Thursday as well. So here's our modeling for today. We see those light showers banding right across uh, from Columbus to Statesboro, just like we saw it on the radar there. So that's going to hang around. Still some light showers down toward the uh, Georgia-Florida line as well. We'll see uh, increasing clouds today as we uh, continue through the afternoon through a good part of the state, but enough sunshine to warm us up quite a bit but our main rain chance will be very light and it's going to be mostly in south georgia as we head through the overnight hours things are pretty quiet we'll start out with a little bit of cloud cover tomorrow going to be foggy in spots and then some showers begin to move in from the west and as we take a look at the uh, moving into the overnight hours into thursday morning some thunderstorms are possible in northwest georgia a lot of that starts to fizzle by thursday morning for drive time in atlanta but it is going to be a wet one those showers will stick around through North Georgia, parts of West Georgia in the Thursday afternoon, and more rain by Thursday evening. And then, as I mentioned, another band of thunderstorms moving our way on Friday. That's your morning weather update from the Georgia WeatherNet. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.